right, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It's your old man, Mark Bryce, and I am in the 2020 Grand Cherokee Altitude. Now, welcome back, everybody, and Happy New Year. It is now officially 2024, January 2nd. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but my when I reverse the vehicle, the sensor is very, very sensitive. Any little thing, like if there's a puddle in my driveway, it'll catch it and it'll stop the vehicle. I mean, I guess it's a good thing. I'd rather have it sensitive than not working properly. So what we're doing today is we're going to the mailbox, which is like 30 seconds from here. We're gonna go pick up a package that I have. It's one of my uh, things, cosmetics that I'm doing to this vehicle. It's the, uh, we're actually looking at it. It's the frame right here that goes around. Uh, I got it in carbon fiber. Uh, I was thinking about getting it in black glass, but I think carbon fiber will look good. I mean, it was like a $15 item. If I don't like it, I'll just peel it off. So with that being said, I need to take a look at it because I may just use 3M tape, but on that photo, I'll put the photo right here so you can see, it shows you a photo on how it looks in the back and it's all with 3M tape except one section. I have a feeling that one section, which I think is either right here or right here, because it's so thin, they cannot put a 3M tape on there. So what I'm gonna do is, you know what, this is annoying. Let me put my seatbelt on. Again, I'm not driving in the highway, so I don't really need to wear it, but because for the sake of this video and that noise, it'll be annoying. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Gorilla Tape, uh, excuse me, Gorilla Glue, the epoxy glue on the thin fine points, it's just so I can stick in there. So then I'm gonna put 3M tape onto it and then put some blue painter's tape to press it in to make sure the uh, Gorilla Epoxy Glue bonds well with my, uh, well, here we are, with the, um, with the piece. Now that piece, like I said, is 15 bucks. I really don't care if it doesn't look good, I can always take it out. But I'm also, I also have the, um, what is that called, the shifter paddles? I haven't put them in yet because I need to get them painted. I want to get them painted red because I also have this red piece right here that's coming in the mail. It won't come in until another week or two. So right now, the only thing I got right now is this piece right here. Definitely want to get this in red. That little piece is also 3M tape. I'm only going to use 3M tape because in the future, I guess this is just a waste of money, a waste of time as well. But for those that do want to install it onto the vehicle, that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to do that on this steering wheel. And like I said, for me, it's maybe a waste of time, a waste of money, because in the future, I do want to get the S um, RT steering wheel, just because I like the model of it. I mean, again, it does say SRT here, so I'm going to find a way how to change it where it doesn't say SRT. I like the steering wheel unit itself. I just don't like the airbag that says SRT, because obviously this is not an SRT. And the track hog, similar to um the srt except except that it has the uh, track hawk right here and i'm not trying to false advertise so i might as well go with the srt and figure out way figure a way what i can do with the airbag so i'll find something out but i don't like this this looks like poopy to me or i can get the jeep one the one that says jeep in big letters it's kind of like a square might get that one if I can find it in the market. It's just that it's unbelievable how much, well, not the aftermarket, but the original Mopar parts are for this vehicle, um, or at least for the track hawks and SRTs. They're expensive. Wow. I guess people are just raising the price because they know they won't make those pieces anymore. So it's hard to find when you do find them. Damn, it is expensive. And I'm talking about used. All right, so let me go ahead and go to my mailbox and bring out the item. All right, all right, here we go. And now 
now let's go back inside the house and take that piece out and let's take a look at it all right so let's go ahead open this up and let's see how beautiful this trim is going to look on my steering wheel hopefully it's not cheap and flimsy which most likely it will be but if i can make it look pretty why not It is very thin. I guess it's good so it doesn't, it's not too thick where it sticks out. Look at this part right here. Is it supposed to be like that? Is it supposed to bend? Hopefully not. Or maybe it is. Because I see the same way here. I'm actually going to stick some over here. A little bit of some 3M tape here, here. And because it's about 40 degrees outside, I'm going to go ahead and use a heat gun. But before I use the heat gun to apply here, I'm going to go ahead and go to the steering wheel and clean it out with some alcohol. So I don't think I'm going to be using epoxy glue. As, as I can see, there's some 3M tape here. Small little guys. So I have to be careful with them. Not bad. So let me get to it. All right. So I haven't done anything yet. I haven't peeled it off. But that's how it's going to look. Mind you, this area is going to be red. Okay. Not bad looking. It's all right. Again, I might get bored of it. I might peel it off. But as long as it covers up all the corners, then I'm good. Okay. So I'm going to have to work it. Okay. Got my heat gun. Let me do this. All right, so I went ahead and peeled off all the red film. It is ready now to pry in here just because I already cleaned it out with some alcohol swap. And now I'm good. But before I put it in there, I'm going to go ahead and warm it up with my heat gun here. Okay, all I did was use the heat gun, went around it five seconds on each part, kept it warm, and as I'm touching it, it's nice and warm. So let me go ahead and put it in there. All right, there you go. I can see it right here, and I don't like it. See that? That doesn't really bother me because when I put the red one on top right here, it's gonna cover up that little gap. I just don't like this gap right here. On uh, my level, I can see it. All right, everyone. So this is the final result. Do I like it? Is it a must have? Mm, now I'll tell you why I bought it. I bought it because it was carbon fiber. And as you already know, I kind of like that carbon fiber look and I like it when it's gloss, not matte textured. And to be honest with you, it's all right. As I said before, 50-50. It's because maybe I'll like it even more once this is red because I feel it's too dark for the steering wheel. There's no light accent, and this just darkens it even more. I don't like the feel of this. This looks tacky. I'm probably in the future going to get the SRT steering wheel, the one that doesn't say SRT or anything, just says Jeep. I'll look into that. Um, yeah, I thought it would look much better. It does in a way, but if you look closely right there, and a little bit right there, see, I have an eye for this. I don't like it. So if I do want to commit to this, like I said, I need to install the red paddle shifters. I just got to get them painted because they're that factory silver or whatever color there it is. I want to get it dipped. I want to get it red to match my button there or maybe to match the red um, trend that's coming in the middle. So with that being said, I might then, when I take out the steering wheel to install the paddle shifters, I might just peel this off take out the trim and then just wrap that trim the same way I did this so at least it matches in that sense but to do all that do I really like this or just keep it silver I kind of need something light here I don't want it too dark so the only thing I can do right now is say I am on the fence I'm 50 50 I'm just gonna have to wait until this piece gets 
arrived and I can put it in and see if I like it or not. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful and I will see you on the next because I still have another project to do aside from the red paddle shifters. I also want to install the ambient light kit and I have something juicy that coming in. I, um, well, I haven't bought it yet. I have to meet the person. I got to go to New York. I found him on Facebook Marketplace and I will tell you more about the piece that I'm going to get for this car. All right, everyone. Talk to you soon.